seven studio albums and counting, singer-songwriter John Mayer has a deep bench of underappreciated gems. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated John Mayer songs. That's the way this keeps working now. Before we begin, be sure to check out Mackenzie's Soul Soul Discovery series, exclusively on Ms. Mojo's YouTube channel. Click the link below to check it out. For this list, it's pretty simple. We're looking at songs written and performed by John Mayer that are lesser known and aren't already cult favorites like Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. I was the one you always dreamed of. You were the one I tried to draw. Number 10. Walt Grace's Submarine Test, January 1967. Walt Grace, his old place. Written in the folk tradition of telling the story of a person's life and memorializing it in song, John does so with the fictional character of Walt Grace, a man who decides to change his life after feeling trapped by the day-to-day -day monotony. With a will to work hard and a library card. The song is a full tale tracking Grace's adventures as he goes on a journey to Tokyo in a homemade submarine. The lyrical song is a fun but poignant listen, and a call to action to embrace action and wonder while you still can. Who took a homemade family, one man submarine ride? Number 9. Belief Is there anyone who ever remembers? Even though he doesn't specifically call out one set of beliefs over another, John makes a powerful point in this song about how standing firm in our views and opinions can blind us and become a destructive force. Belief is a beautiful armor, but makes for the heaviest sword. He sings of how we're never going to fix the world if belief is what we're fighting for. It's a reminder that no one wins in a one-sided conversation. He finds just the right balance of sending an important message without being preachy. We're never gonna beat this Number 8. My Stupid Mouth. My Stupid Mouth. Written before his infamous interview with Playboy, My Stupid Mouth is one of those songs that perfectly encapsulates an experience we've all had putting your foot in your mouth. Between what was good, what just slipped out, and what went wrong. Mayer's ability to tell a strong story comes through in this song as he describes saying something offensive and ruining his romantic chances on a date. The whole situation is pretty cringeworthy, but the song is so cute, and ultimately a fun way to shake off the social faux pas. Oh, I'm never speaking up again. It also shares a line with his big hit, Your Body is a Wonderland. Number 7. If I Ever Get Around to Living If I Ever Get Around to Living even though the album Born and Raised performed well, the whole project was still criminally underrated. In particular, If I Ever Get Around to Living serves as the perfect track to encapsulate John's new sound that was a departure from his earlier work. The California cool that permeated the rest of the songs was front and center with this track. On it, he takes a gently chiding approach to self-reflection as he sings, When Are You Going to Wise Up Boy? A line that's as much a critique of himself as it is an answer to the gossip about him. Number 6. Assassin. I work in the dead of night. All's fair in love and war. At least that's the stance John takes on this track. Sometimes John's dating life tends to overshadow his work. And for better or for worse, he's known as a serious playboy. Her head is heavy on me, she's sleeping like a child. John owns that reputation in Assassin, but also flips it on its head by singing about the time he met his match, the girl who stole his heart before he took hers. As the song goes on, the tempo builds and leads to a soaring guitar solo that really shows off his skills. <laughs> Number 5. Wheel Have the right to fly. Slower and more bluesy than most of Mayer's big hits, Wheel finds John at his most laid back. Lyrically, he paints a picture of the everyday. People saying goodbye at the airport, the seasons changing, or a loved one coming home. 
couldn't hand a single round. He creates imagery of the wheel of life turning, with one thing transitioning into the next. As the closing entry on heavier things, it's definitely not a throwaway or one to skip. The song leaves the listener to ruminate on the nature of life and love, and it brings the album full circle. The love I give, to me. Number four, three by five. This song wasn't included on the original internet-only release of John's debut album Room for Squares, but we're glad this song snuck its way onto the re-release. The song perfectly captures his life on the road, sending letters and postcards to his loved one as his preferred way to communicate. Mayer's clever wordplay comes through when he sings about not taking or sending physical pictures, instead wanting to experience the world through his own eyes. By the end of the track, he promises that next time, they'll be on the road together. Number three, In Your Atmosphere, L.A. Song. I don't think I'm gonna go to LA anymore. Breakups can be rough and make you dread running into your ex. With In Your Atmosphere, also known as the L.A. Song, Mayer details that feeling of wanting to avoid an entire city just so he wouldn't run into or be reminded of his former lover. I burn up in your atmosphere. Even though the sentiment is harsh, the delivery isn't, which makes it feel more like a mournful goodbye than a scorched earth kiss off. Featured on his live album Where the Light Is, it's one of the album's standouts. I watch your life play out in pictures from afar. Number two, the heart of life. I hate to see you cry. As someone who's had his fair share of criticism, both deserved and not, it's heartening that John could produce such an uplifting song. With the heart of life, Mayer argues that despite all the crazy in this world, ultimately life is good. Love ties the whole thing around. It's such a simple message, but a necessary one, especially when times are tough. With lines like, love turns the whole thing around, the acoustic track makes for a comforting listen and serves as a reminder that better times are around the corner. Of life is good. I know all it's good. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Could I change it if I want it? Can I rise above the flood? Will it wash out in the water? Or is it always in the Whiskey, 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 water, 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 sleep. Number one, stop this train. No, I'm not colorblind. The passing of time and growing older are inevitable facts of life that Mayer expertly explores in this moving song. In it, he expresses his fears of getting older as he sings, I'm only good at being young. I can't take the speed. That sentiment is one of his most relatable lyrics, and gently forces the listener to reflect on his or her own life. The soothing melody and his gentle guitar strumming are at odds with his lyrics, but that juxtaposition is what makes the song so great. I'll never stop this train. Do you agree with our list? Be sure to subscribe and catch Mackenzie's Soul Soul Discovery series, a Ms. Mojo special presentation. Click the link below to watch it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.